In this video we're going to be looking at how we can approximate a Poisson distribution to a normal distribution. As you can see, the conditions for this is where lambda is large. So if x has a Poisson distribution of lambda and we say that x is approximately y where y has a normal distribution of the mean which is lambda and the variance is also lambda um, remember that lambda is both the mean and the variance as a condition of Poisson distribution that the mean and variance are equal let's now have a look at a couple of questions where we do the normal approximation to something that has a Poisson distribution so question one Per hour, there are an average of 25 buses that pass bus stop HH on Hackney Road. What is the probability that exactly 25 buses will pass bus stop HH between 10am and 11am? Well, we need to define our random variable. So I'm going to say x is the number of buses passing bus stop HH per hour. We now also need to say x is distribution. x has a Poisson distribution of 25 and we can see from this that we're able to do a normal approximation because lambda is large so in order to do this approximation we need to say that x is approximately the same as y where y has a normal distribution of mean 25 and variance 25 so a random variable with a Poisson distribution of 25 is approximately the same as a random variable which has a normal distribution of mean 25 variance 25 now we need to work out the probabilities so we're finding the probability that exactly 25 buses will pass bus stop HH so finding the probability that X is exactly 25 so we need to do a continuity correction on this. So I'm going to draw the numbers around 25. We want 25, but we don't want those two. So it's going to be the same as the probability that y is between 24.5 and 25.5. Now we need to calculate our Z score. So it's the same as probability. And we're going to standardize here. So 24.5 minus 25 over root 25, which is just 5. And 25.5 minus 25 over root 25 that's going to be that z is between minus 0 0.1 and positive 0 0.1 so we need to calculate that z score so I'm going to draw the normal distribution to help me with that there's 0 say positive 0 0.1 there, negative 0 0.1 is about there. We want that area in between the two. So that's the same as the probability that Z is less than 0 0.1. Take away 1 minus the probability that Z is less than 0 0.1. Which works out to be 0.079 let's now move on to one more example so question two in one meter squared of grass there are an average of 2.3 daisies growing what is the probability that there will be less than 50 daisies on a lawn of 25 meters squared so let's start by defining our random variable 
let's say x is the number of daisies growing in one meter squared and we can write x's distribution as x has a Poisson distribution of 2.3 but we need to find 25 meters squared so I'm going to do a new random variable I'm going to call it y which will be the number of daisies in 25 meters squared and so y is also going to have a Poisson distribution but it's going to be 2.3 times 50 which is sorry 2.3 times 25 which is going to be 57.5 now we need to approximate between the two so from a Poisson to a normal so we're going to say that y is approximately the same as another random variable I'm going to call it q where q has a normal distribution of mean 57.5 and variance 57.5 we now need to find the probabilities so we need to find the probability that there will be less than 50 daisies so we're finding the probability that y is less than 50 so doing our continuity correction to do the numbers around 50 we don't want 50 or 51 we do want 49 and below so that's going to be the same as the probability that Q is less than 49.5 so now we need to calculate our Z score so we're going to do 49.5 minus 57.5 over root 57.5 and that's going to give us a Z score of minus 1.14 so we need to calculate the probability from this Z score so I'm going to draw in the normal distribution curve put 0 in and minus 1.14 is approximately there and we want the, prob the area below minus 1.14 so if I reflect that it's the same as the area above positive 1.14 so to calculate that we need to do 1 minus the probability that Z is less than 1.14 which is 1 minus 0.87286 which gives us a final probability of 0 0.12714